Now, if we consider the fluid to be an ideal fluid, then the equations of motion will reduce to a simpler form. In particular, there will be no viscous shear stress on the particle, and these three normal stress components will represent the pressure. Since these normal stresses have all been defined as force per unit area, they act as positive outward. But we know pressure always acts in opposite direction, perpendicular like this. And as a convention, positive pressure produces a compressive stress. Then, substitute these pressure and simplify you will get. These equations are called the Euler equations of motion, expressed in x, y, z coordinates. Using gradient operator, we can also write it in a more compact form. In many cases we will have steady, two-dimensional flow, and the z component of velocity equals zero. Now, if we orient the x and y axes, so that gravity acts on y coordinate only then, Euler's equations become the velocity components u and v and the pressure p at any point within the fluid can now be determined provided we can solve these two partial differential equations along with the continuity equation you can also obtain the Bernoulli's equation using these ideal Euler equations of motion for 2d steady flow you probably know Bernoulli equation is applied at any two points on the same streamline but if a condition of ear rotational flow exists, meaning angular velocity equals zero, then the Bernoulli equation can also be applied between any two points that are on different streamlines. To show this, assume we have ear rotational, two-dimensional flow so that angular velocity at z component equals zero. This means substitute this condition into Euler equation you will obtain. Knowing some differential relation, the above equation becomes integrating with respect to x in the first equation, and with respect to y in the second equation, yields. Here v, is the fluid particle's velocity found from its components. Now, equate these two equations. You will obtain the following results. Here left side, this function depends upon y variable only. It changes only when y value changes. So, the solution of this function requires that, this right function, which depends upon x variable, must be constant. Since x and y can vary independent of one another. As a result, the unknown function would be. Substituting these function on these equations, we obtain in either case, the Bernoulli equation, that is, Thus, if the flow is irrotational, then the Bernoulli equation may be applied between any two points that are not necessarily on the same streamline. Of course, as noted, we must also require the fluid to be ideal and the flow to be steady.